it's difficult to imagine, but I think it's important that you try to put yourself inside that kindergarten classroom in Newtown, Connecticut. Crayon pictures adorn the walls. And the children are excited because of the upcoming holidays. It's 9.40 in the morning, and they are doing arts and crafts, they're listening to a story from the teacher, or they're singing a song because that's what you do in kindergarten. It's a carefree time of innocent joy in a happy and familiar and what's supposed to be a safe place, a sanctum from the evils of the outside world. And then that evil comes through the door. What follows is a horror that most of us will not experience in our lifetime. These children were five, six, and seven years old. That horror ended many of their lifetimes. Over the next couple of days, we're going to hear a lot about this coward with the guns. We'll talk about his motive, his background, his mental state. I don't care. I'm just happy he's dead. I only wish he would have died yesterday. There will be a call for gun control, and that's a debate worth having. But the horrible reality, and what we never want to face, evil is and evil always will be. Man has killed inexplicably from the beginning of time with all kinds of weapons. The problem is in us. That's what needs to be controlled. But that's not what is dominating my thought right now. Like many of you, it's much more personal. And I know I will cry when I see the pictures of the children who died because I have a six and an eight-year-old. And I can't fathom the pain of the parents of the children who died. Let our thoughts be with them and pray that they're surrounded by love through their mourning, a mourning that will ease but will never end. I just hope they survive. I'm not certain I would.